Well, yesterday was hard to beat with lots of sunshine, temperatures feeling fantastic and low humidity. As we kick off our weekend, we are going to start to get into a little bit more of an active weather pattern as clouds are going to start to work on into the forecast and notice this moisture off to our west. This is also going to be heading our way over the next 24 hours and that system is going to bring us some wet weather, but it's also going to bring us a wonderful stretch of cooler conditions moving into next week. Now, as far as our temperatures go this afternoon, primarily sitting in the 70s to the lower 80s. This is about on track for where we should be this time of year, but it is going to again come with a little bit more cloud cover and a few opportunities for some scattered showers. Now through the first half of the day, looking mainly dry as we head towards midday and into the afternoon as we start to see a few showers grazing parts of northeast Georgia and beginning to work its way into western North Carolina. The upstate looking mainly dry through the first half of the day and even through most of this afternoon. Yes, you could see an isolated shower, but that looks to be the extent of it. Once we get towards dinner time, a little bit more activity likely across the region and especially moving on into tonight and early tomorrow morning. We're looking at that potential for scattered showers and a few rumbles of thunder also possible. So early tomorrow morning, if you're headed to church, maybe allow a few extra minutes as we will be dealing with some scattered downpours throughout the region. This will stick with us through late morning and even into the early part of the afternoon, but it looks like the heaviest of the rain is going to be the first half of the day. This front gradually swings on out of our region, moving on into this afternoon or tomorrow afternoon. It will bring that potential still for a few lingering showers and storms, but for the most part, we are going to dry things out throughout the day on Sunday, and that'll set us up for a wonderful stretch of weather moving on into next week. Now, as far as the tropics go, yes, there's been a lot of activity. It's that time of year where we see fairly busy uh, pattern across the tropics. We have what was Hurricane Lee working its way towards Canada as of right now. Margo posing no threat to the U.S. still staying far out into the Atlantic, still trucking around along at this point. And then off the coast of Africa, this is a new development. The area highlighted in yellow, showing that potential that we could see this develop into our next name storm. However, the the thinking as of right now is it's on the lower side of seeing that develop. Next to that, though, we do have Tropical Depression 15, which is expected to become our next name storm moving into the next couple of days. So let's take a closer look at this one. As of right now, sustained winds 35 miles per hour pushing towards the north northwest at 14 miles per hour. With the latest track, it is expected to become Nigel in the next 24 hours or so, and it does look like we will potentially see this become a category one or two hurricane in the next few days moving into next week. So we'll watch this one closely, but look at the track staying far out to sea, not impacting us for the time being. So the four day looks like this, looking at fairly quiet conditions for the upstate today. Small chance for a few isolated showers, a better chance for that activity will move on in towards the later part of the day, especially across western North Carolina and northeast Georgia. Scattered showers and storms still sticking around tonight into early tomorrow, gradually tapering as the day moves across our Sunday. Then as we get on into next week, a great stretch of weather. We're looking at lots of sunshine ahead, temperatures feeling a lot like fall, although they're fairly similar to where we should be this time of year, low humidity is in store for us.